everyone, it's Presley at ActoGames.com here, and today is Science Sunday, and I'm going to be popping balloons with light. <laughs> <laughs> so this is another really cool experiment we got from our friend Steve Spangler, and this is really crazy and really cool, because I literally just popped a balloon using nothing but light. So let's talk a little bit about what's going on. When light hits an object, there are three things that it can do. If it's translucent, it can pass through an object, or it can bounce off of an object, or be absorbed by an object. Often it's a combination of those two things. You've probably heard that's how color works. Like for example, this yellow piece of paper. It's reflecting the yellow light into our eyes and absorbing everything else, so that's why we see it as yellow. Same case with these orange and red papers. The red paper is absorbing all the other light and reflecting the red light into our eyes, and the orange is doing the same as the other two. And now there are a couple special cases, like black, which is absorbing almost all of the light, and which is why it appears black to us. And down here is the white, and it's reflecting almost all of the light, which is why it appears white to us. So I say the black paper absorbs almost all of the light. And that's because we can actually see this black paper. If it absorbed all the light, we wouldn't be able to see it. We would just see a void here, which would be really creepy. So there would just be a void. So I've actually heard that there are some scientists that have created a material that absorbs almost all the light. So we notice it by pretty much a void. And it would be one of the coolest things to go out and go to the lab and see just like a void that absorbs all the light. Another thing that's really important to understand is the conservation of energy, where you can't create or get rid of any energy. You just have to transform it into a different state. So in the white piece of paper's case, the light is coming through and light is a form of energy, it's light energy, and it's going down to the white piece of paper and then it's bouncing off into our eyes. And that stays light. And that's not changing form in really any way. But then, if the sun is coming down and hitting the black paper, the black paper has to absorb it. And when the black paper absorbs it, it's not light anymore. It has to transform into something else. And what it transforms into is heat. So this is why there you might have heard that black shirts are warmer than white shirts in the winter. That's because the black shirts are absorbing the light and converting it into heat, while the white shirts are just reflecting it and it stays light. So these papers have been sitting out here for a while. So let's take a thermometer and measure the different temperatures of them and see how much of a difference there is in between them. So this one's roughly 45 degrees. And this one's roughly 50. This one is also roughly 50. And that one is roughly 34 degrees. So now let's do the black one. And this one is roughly 58 degrees, so you can see how much of a difference there is in between the white one and the black one. So let's talk about what we're doing with the magnifying glass. So in the case of the black paper, it's taking all the light, turning it into heat, and it's kind of spreading it throughout the black paper. So the temperature is about the same through the whole entire paper. But what the magnifying glass is doing is it's taking all the sunlight that's turning into heat on the magnifying glass's surface and pointing it into a teeny tiny point that takes all of the heat from the entire magnifying glass. So it takes like, instead of a bunch of like little 50 degrees points, it turns it all into one tiny like 100 degree point. So once that's on the paper, you can do all sorts of really crazy stuff like one of my personal favorites is to burn a hole. Like we've been talking about, there are three factors into popping the balloons. First of all, there's how much light we're gathering from the sun to turn into heat. Then there's um, the surface area of the magnifying glass and how much light that's collecting to put into a tiny point. So a bigger mag the bigger the magnifying glass, the better. And then how much um, of the heat the balloon absorbed when we got it in that tiny point. So what we're going to do here is we have a lineup of balloons and we're going to see how long it take takes each one to pop. And if we're doing this correctly, they should take different amounts of time. I'm gonna have my dad help me with this one because he's much better at lining this up than I am because I might just fumble and make it a little bit worse and you wouldn't be able to see as much of the results. So let's go ahead. So first we're going to start with the white one because like we said, the white one is reflecting most of the light instead of absorbing it. So we're going to see how long it takes the white one to pop. like covering my ears because I was expecting it to be really loud but that's really really cool because it's reflecting so much light that would take a really long time to pop and that would be like a 20 minute video if we got that one to pop or it may not even pop in the first place at all so now let's try the yellow one mm -hmm. 
<laughs> and that one kind of popped. So I blew these up yesterday, so they're a little bit deflated, which is why that one just made a bit. Um, but that one took a second to pop. Now we're gonna try the green one. And if my hypothesis is correct, it should be a little bit faster than the yellow one. That one popped more, but it did take a little less than the yellow one. Now we're gonna do the black one, which I know is gonna go a lot faster than the previous one. Yep, so that one popped really fast because of how much it was absorbing instead of reflecting. Now we have a transparent one. I know it looks white, um, but it's still a transparent balloon. So we're gonna see if this one even gets anywhere close to popping. Which is unlikely because of the white one. I don't even know what my ears. It's just gonna go through. So that one didn't pop us at all. And I thought that's a really cool comparison because if you look down here, you can see the yellow one and the green one and the black one popped, but the white one and transparent one did not because they were reflecting so much light. The white one was reflecting so much light that it didn't absorb much heat. It would take like forever to even pop that one if it does pop at all. And it was just going through the clear one. Okay, so we're going to use the fact that the light passes through the transparent balloon to our advantage. And we're going to show you this grand finale that we've kind of been building up to. We're gonna do something really cool with the transparent balloon and another kind. What I'm gonna do here is we have a black balloon inside of a clear balloon. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to let the light go through the clear balloon and onto the black balloon and the black one's gonna pop. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> so what's happening here is the light's going through the clear balloon and it's heating up the black balloon and that one's popping. I thought this would be really fun like at a birthday party, there's like something inside the balloon, but then you have to pop another balloon to get the other one. That seems like it would be fun. I hope you guys learned a lot about light and conservation of energy and absorption and reflection because this is one of our favorite experiments. And again, a huge thank you to Steve Spangler and the Steve Spangler Science team because this is such an amazing experiment and it's super fun to try out. If you like what we're doing and want to keep up on more science videos, then please, please subscribe. It really helps us out. So yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.